Hello, this is not a spring chicken. You know, it must be Monday because real estate figures are up. Yeah, that's one of the things that we know. Oh, and you know what else was up? The Super Bowl ratings were up. Was this just a rematch? No, they were down. Oh, it was? I thought it was up. No, the halftime oh. was the halftime was up. The Super Bowl was down. And depending on which camp you were in, I loved Madonna because I liked Madonna anyway. They did have a record number of guests. Singers, though. I mean, big singers. LMFAO. Who, who, who else was there? If you were CC. working for NBC, you were on yesterday. Well, they did host the Super Bowl. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, we're, I guess we better get on to news, though, because it still continues. So we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. What is it? W.O.? <laughs> W.O. Texas missionaries found slain in North Mexico. Yeah, it's, it's the org, I think it's the Oregon Health Organ. Uh, the uh, missionaries organization is W. Oh. Well, you know, basically what happens is you have all these people going to countries where they shouldn't be going to tell you that you're doing everything wrong, which generally ends up in getting you killed. Oh, yeah, that generally does. And the Super Bowl last night had what? The first time a slip up since what? Mm -hmm. Janet Jackson for yeah, the time. Well, the, everyone, I didn't even see that. Everyone knows it was rehearsed because the camera was dead on her. And it gets to be ridiculous. They think, okay. Oh, you mean like the Janet Jackson wasn't rehearsed either because the camera was dead on her? Yeah. And then she was wearing something underneath to begin with. But oh. the, the trick is, is that, that on my side, they were, on Facebook, they're all talking about the fact that it is the easiest thing in the world to do is to produce a halftime show. What it is, is they're putting a halftime show on for people that don't watch the Super Bowl. They have this idea. Oh, because they're trying to get them to watch the Super Bowl. Yeah, by putting on a halftime show of somebody. Okay, the Super Bowl tends to be watched by uh, middle-aged, uh, middle-aged people okay. and older. They don't like Madonna. They don't like, or uh, you know, the hot chili. they don't know who in the hell the Hot Chili Peppers or whatever, you know what. what LMFAO. They don't or know Nicki who Minaj. That is. They don't know who this Sibo is or none of these people. Like uh, Sebo's on the voice. Uh, Otherwise, I wouldn't know who he no, was. Most of them say, "Who the hell are those people?" I I know them, the name Madonna. Most of them never even heard their music, and they're aiming for an audience that will not watch the football game because they got other things to do. We saw what they were doing yesterday. They were out of the beaches, out of stores. They were out. They were out. Treasure Hunter says he found three billion dollar World War II wreck. Well, yeah, because um, it wasn't three billion dollars worth of wreck. It was probably like about. Thirty million dollars in gold. Gold has went up since then. Oh. Yeah. An eleventh victim found dead days after deadly crash on Florida highway. I know. I, I thought that was a little strange. But like a week after the crash, they found another victim. And what it was is they missed them. And a, somebody got crushed in an automobile. And they, I think the smell sort of attracted them to them. Gave it away. Yeah. And the house votes to repeal part of health care law for disabled. Well, you know, because the, uh, Obama put in a whole bunch of new regulations of which both sides are say are, are here's the Democrats though. We know that these cannot be done the way they are. We need to go back and rewrite them. But if they go back to rewrite them, then they're going to open the health care up for a debate which was not done before. Uh -huh. And they know that the health care out will be gutted. So they're basically... These things, we know that they're bad and that they won't work and they're going to cost money that people don't have. But we can't go back and rewrite it because it will cause problems for the other part. So the Democrats are willing to stay with something they know is totally unusable in order to keep the health care from being revisited. So, Which means the Senate is going to have to, to vote against cutting a figure out that is going to cost a thousand times more than was projected to cost by Obama. And House votes to repeal part of health care law. Oh, well. Okay, then 21 CEOs landed 100 million plus golden parachute deals. I hate to tell people that. The companies decide on how much money someone is to be paid. And when the president says, I don't like this, well, I don't see Obama giving back his salary. He's not giving his money working. back. I don't see the Democrats any of them. Oh, yeah, here's a good one, too. Warren Buffett basically said F you to his own rule because uh, I don't have to pay those taxes because I put my money away for a family trust. So therefore, while other people should pay taxes, the, his, his company doesn't have to pay those taxes if he wants other people to pay.
Yeah. Isn't that amazing? I know. You know, it, that's one of those things. For all those people that keep complaining everybody else should pay more taxes, I think they should start with them. But they won't pay the taxes. He said that, that, uh, that it has been set up to protect my family in the future and to keep the business solvent. If, if I went and did what I'm recommending for everybody else to do, it would hurt my family and my company. But it means he's just saying, F you to everybody, to everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. And Mar Marco Rubio lashes out at some conservatives on immigration. Well, the problem is, he got, okay, um, this is a very simple thing. I heard again the other night when one of, one of the people was talking to one of the lawyers. Do you understand the term illegal? He said, well, this is not what we're talking about. Do you understand the term illegal? He said, we're talking about people that are here. In and he said, do you understand the word illegal? And then he said, the guy, this is not what I'm hearing. He said, you're absolutely here. He said, the word illegal immigrant? And you don't understand what illegal? And he says, well, I've had enough of this. And then he left. Uh -huh. Because they're talking about illegal immigrants. And they refuse to tell you if they understand one simple word, illegal. And Marco Rubio lashes out. I know, out. she likes oh, that. That's well, true. I know. Cause I keep She's thinking. standing too far away from the... Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me see Marco Rubio again. How about no. barefoot bandit sentenced in Seattle to 6.5 years in okay. prison? Which means How did he get 6.5 years? Which means he's going to be released tomorrow. There's the guy that was stealing all these airplanes and didn't know how to fly. Okay, he crashed one airplane after another, and uh, and they never caught the guy. He's got footprints everywhere, for Christ's sake. He gave him a footprint. In Oakland, assesses the damage after hundreds of Occupy arrests. Yeah, and, uh, okay, but Ron Williams said, you know, this is this them showing, you know, they, Ron Williams supports these people, and Democrats support them. Unless it's on their doorstep and then they want them gone. Remember the mayor of Oakland said, you know, these people are the tea, are the Democrat version of the Tea Party. They're not violent and destructive like the Republicans are. <laughs> Republicans clean up. Republicans don't destroy. The Republicans don't have. They tell women, the young women, not to stay in those camps at night because they got rape gangs going on. So, well, yeah. And Gingrich wants panel to study management of in vitro clinics. Probably wouldn't be such a bad idea, you know, when you have some woman having eight, you know eight eggs. Oh, that's a little bit on the extreme side. And Democrats spent big in Oregon special election for Wu seat. Think it's a Democratic state and a Democratic district, and they're figuring out they're going to have to do this run in the fall against a candidate they can actually beat them. So they they threw money to win a special election that they couldn't have lost. Duh. And then they almost lost it. Duh. Why yeah. they needed the money? <laughs> no, no, but they, they threw the money that they needed for the fall, and the woman that ran as a replacement candidate only won by 10% in a Republican Are you in a Democratic state in a Democratic district because they're fed up with the Democrats. Now that they spent like $10 for every vote they got. And Congress tries to police itself on insider trading. That's never going to happen because, <laughs> you know. They, uh, basically, they know the laws they're going to pass, so therefore they invest based upon what they know the past. Is that like having Mar Monty guard the treat dish? Yeah. A treat jar? Yeah. Yeah. And Obama says he deserves re-election. The job's not done. This is ridiculous. That is the most asinine people, you know, even the Democrats of it. That's got to be the most stupid campaign. I realized that I told you it could be done, but the Republicans and George Bush have made such a mess and out I of it. I haven't had time to finish it yet. So I, I, I know. Re so re-elect re me because I have a screwed... Well, this morning, and you know it's Monday morning because Monday morning they correct the jobs figures. The job figures, the largest amount of people ever to drop out of the unemployment arena. And they said it wasn't 8.3. The unemployment figure actually went up to 8.8. .8. It didn't go down. I thought those figures were skewed. That if if you're only if sales were below what they expected, factory orders are well below what they expected, and the growth is only one percent. You don't add 150,000 more people than the month before, which is the month you're having a temporary help on. So it was a slight error. And Gingrich blasts Obama on outrageous assault on religion. Oh yeah, he's forcing Catholics. The Catholics, well, the Catholics. The, the, those people tend to vote Democrat, and unfortunately, they found out that Obama health care law screws them. You will have to pay for, you have to provide abortion, abortion, uh, abortion this, abortion that, 
and you have to provide. You're also going to have to allow gay people into the churches now and all of this because it's all part of the health care program. And two National Geographic filmmakers die in helicopter crash. Oh, God, we were discussing about that. That's the third one. We had, oh, this is new? That's it's a, still on top a, of the other That's a two days. Uh, uh, they lost a steady cam operator, fell out the door of a camera. And then the next time, next day, a camera, a, heli a, a camera with the with the pilot and the copter thing both crashed. There's two major accidents oh. with copters. But like we pointed out the fact, well, they're talking about, thank heavens we live in a better day, and they simply point out the fact. Unfortunately, there is what's supposed to be done on location and what is actually done on location. There's and a monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, Okay, now that computers are actually doing the editing of written material for writers, how long will it be before the writers are not even needed?